Audiology is the diagnosis and treatment, non-medical diagnosis and non-medical treatment of hearing loss and balance disorders. It's a study of hearing. So you've got you know medical doctors or ENTs who are ears, but the study of hearing and the evaluation, the rehabilitation, um, that's audiology. To me, the first thing and foremost thing is a helping profession. It's very, very rewarding. You put a hearing on a young baby or some, someone who hasn't heard the sounds for a long time, that moment, they, their eyes light up. That's just priceless. Audiologists are the professionals who are licensed to uh, treat and diagnose hearing loss. I think the audiologists know the most about how hearing and hearing impairment uh, are related to communication. There's the audiologists who work in a school district, audiologists who work in major medical centers, pediatric hospitals, VA hospitals, um, private practices. Audiologists work with hearing aids and hearing restoration tools and though that technology develops very fast. Anybody who likes to work with these electrical engineering challenges will really enjoy uh, the field of audiology. And a lot of audiologists sort of like that techno, geeky, electroacoustic stuff. And we get excited about stuff like that, you know? <laughs> you show us new buttons and we're like, whoa. Most audiologists have a lot of empathy and passion for helping people. And I think for me, at least, that's really important in terms of why you enter this field. Um, and, and that's something you can't teach. That's just from the heart. So um, that's a big thing. And, and there's dedication to the patient because everything you do is for, um, for the patient. We forget how much our hearing really means to us until it's gone. And to be able to provide that uh, access for people to improve their hearing makes a very big difference in living situation and just out in the vi environment. When you treat a hearing loss, you get pretty instant results. And it changes people's lives fairly quickly. It was just named Time Magazine's best career for the next uh, decade. The calculation right now that the state uses is that we need to be graduating 50 audiologists per year to meet the demands of the state. Our program currently is gra will be graduating about 20 to 23 students per year. We have a program in Southern California that graduates about 10, so we're still short of meeting the needs. What that translates to for the student is lots of job opportunities, and good job prospects, very good starting salaries, and it is overall a very rosy picture for students who graduate. The profession of audiology has over 12,000 members. Audiologists must be licensed within the state they are practicing, and they should obtain professional certification. To be licensed in the state of California, audiology applicants must hold a doctorate degree in audiology from an educational institution approved by the board. They must complete 300 hours of supervised clinical practice with a wide variety of ages and communication disorders under the direction of an educational institution. They must submit evidence of no less than 12 months of satisfactory completed supervised professional full-time experience or its part-time equivalent. And they must pass a board-approved examination. It's challenging. It's a challenging profession. It's a challenging uh, set of curricula to, to undergo, and it's quite technical and much more quantitative than, say, something like speech-language pathology, our sister profession. Working with a cohort and being able, like, supporting each other really helps kind of get through the content to learn all of the things that we're expected to know and kind of survive. It's actually a mix of both clinic and coursework. I love how both of them really supplement each other. What we learn in class is like immediately applied to in clinic and, and putting um, what you learn in class into practice with your hands is, is always great. It really reinforces your knowledge. Um, it gets really hard and there's just so much, especially for our program, uh, to cram in so much information in a, a short amount of time. There's so much that goes into it, but envisioning what the end result is, I think that's what gets us through.